Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take your drawings and put them on an IDW for presentations and then how you could turn those into your teacher. If you were at school, you would go to Start All Programs and open up Citrix Receiver. From Citrix Receiver, you would open up Inventor. If you'd like to do this from home, there's another way. You can go to the internet. I like to use Google Chrome. And if you go to citrix.waukesha.k12.wi.us, you can log in the same way you log into your computers. At home, once you log in, you're going to see this screen pop up. You're going to want to use the light version, and it's going to use it right there in Google Chrome. Either way you do this, it'll eventually bring you to Inventor. From here, we're going to create a new standard IDW. As it slowly loads everything it needs to create an IDW. And then we're going to put in a couple views. So we're going to put a base view in. And we have to go and select that view. So what part do we want to use? So we're going to search right here. Not from our documents, but from our H drive. And we're going to find the full assembly. And open that up. Typically at this point, I like to move this box out of the way so I can see a little better. Uh, there's a few things you must do with these. First, this should be in the home view. Second, this little box right here, shaded. Shaded needs to be highlighted blue right there so that it looks like the final version. And finally, we should scale it to fit a little better. Uh, I've found that 1 to 15 works pretty nice. And then if you click on your drawing and move it, you can put it where you want and hit OK. So shaded's going to leave it looking like this. We're also going to put another base on there. We're going to grab that same one, full assembly, except this time when I go to the home view, I'm actually going to select this back corner back here. See where I'm at? so that I get the opposite view on it. Then I'm going to change the scale to 1 to 15. And finally I need to make sure that it's shaded right here. Lastly, if you did not use or if you use some of my parts in your drawings, any of these parts like you see here, and you wanted to show me that you actually drew some of the parts, what you could do is go to the base view and select any parts that you've drawn that are not shown in here. So for instance, maybe you drew the main, uh, main platform. This was your drawing, not the one that I'm giving you. You go to the home view and you turn on shaded. Maybe you also drew the slide, but you didn't use it in here. Not mine, but yours. You'd open it, you'd go to Shaded, and you'd go to the Home View. So I'd like you to show me your full assemblies, everything you've assembled. I'd also like you to show me any parts that are not seen in that assembly. I have everything I need in here, so I'm going to delete these. Since I finished the assembly, this is all I need. To finish, we're going to go to the Inventor I. We're going to go to Save As into our H drive. And you can leave it as full assembly. We're also going to do one more save. Inventor I, this time though, we're going to export the document as a PDF so that your teacher can view it and you can call that full assembly as well. This tends to pop up at school. How do you want to open this file? Don't click on Word. Just click back on your screen. 
and you're finished with Inventor. I'm going to minimize this. Back in Google Chrome, I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to sign in to Google. Then I'm going to go to these dots and select Google Drive. Inside Google Drive, you're going to want to find the folder that you and your teacher share, such as 5th Hour ETD. Inside 5th Hour ETD, oh, let me select one that's kind of like yours. How about last name, first name, 5 ETD? Inside here, now that it's open, we are going to create a new file upload. And from your H drive, you're going to find that PDF that we just called Full Assembly. So there's the IDW and there's the PDF. We want the PDF, and I would like you to open that. And you're going to notice that it goes in here. Now if I were to open this up as the teacher, I'm going to be able to see what you drew. I'm going to be able to see what parts were yours, what parts did you draw, and this is how you turn in your Inventor Playground. I look forward to seeing all of your playgrounds. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.